Back, we are almost dry. Yeah, almost. It was a nice little. I, I kind of enjoyed that. So cute. Are you ready to make some purses? I am. I know. I saw this and I was like, Gene, this is, this is a good idea. Yeah, take that, it? kids. Let's hear that. Jean. Jean. Not Jean. No one heard it. Gene. Oh, I missed this it. You are going to show us <laughs> how to. What did you say? Again? I read it right out of the gate. Gene, not G's. Yeah. It, like, Jean, it went right good. over my head. Subtle, they're subtle. Orly, anyway, not Jean, is going to show us how to upcycle our jeans and make them into really cool fanny packs or even yeah. purses. I love this idea. It's it's really great. And you know what? The thing that's the thing that's wonderful about this is that you're going to really utilize all parts of the denim and in in kind of unexpected ways. So you can see here we're using the uh, the waist, you know, the whole um, the waistband. Thank you. I was like, what is the word I'm looking it's for? <laughs> the waistband <laughs> as either a strap, like a regular shoulder yeah. strap. You know, this one's pinned down, or you can use it like this as a fanny pack. And what's really fun is the actual button closure is how you get it on and off. So sure. it's fully functioning as, I'll put one on here, it's fully functioning as your, as a fanny your pack. bag, yeah, yes. which is really fun. And it, you know, Levi's so are like so, so classic. in. Yeah. So that's kind of what I chose to use and to utilize all the sort of iconic parts of it's the a, Levi's. Yes, yeah, the accoutrement that comes with it that makes them Levi's. Exactly. And plus this is so much cooler than the usual fanny packs you see at the music festivals these days, like Coachella and stuff. Th these are yeah. really cool. Yeah, there's, you know, uh, they're really popular now just because they're kind of hands-free and everything that, you know, was old is new again and, and these are no different. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make them, it's very easy. The first thing you need is your jeans. Now, if you have a pair of jeans at home mm. that, you know, maybe they're just, they're all faded on the bottom and they're t a little too ripped for you, you're not wearing them, but the top is still in good condition, this is a great one for them. Or you can just head to Salvation Army and look for even a larger size than you normally would because the longer, the bigger the jeans are, the longer this strap becomes. And this could become a longer purse like or a, a crossbody cross strap huh? or whatever you want. So just keep in mind that all you're really looking for is the width and a pair of jeans that you like it's that are in. cool seeing this part of a jean. Isn't it? Right. You look no. at it and go, wow. Like All the individual a, parts yeah. that go parts. into these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then next, I've cut, so I cut that off and then I cut the leg off because this is really what we're gonna use here. Now, this is a little bit of a decision is what part of the denim you wanna use. So the next thing we're gonna do is cut right down here. This is, you know, the. Seat of the pants. Exactly. And so now you can kind of see it in more of a flat way, and it looks almost just like a piece of fabric here. So see, we can sort of see the width that we have, mm -hmm. the length that we have, we can see where it slopes, where we're gonna need to even it out. So you're really gonna wanna look this here. This could be like a deep, really a deep This could be, yeah, this could be oh, a really nice size yeah. bag if you want, because these were bigger jeans. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide to use both the pocket, um, the back seat pocket on both. All so right. what I do, I'm gonna twist this around a little bit. I'm gonna cut right up here in a nice straight line because I don't want it kind of curved in that triangle yeah. way. And you're not myself. like you're just kind of winging it. Yeah, because yeah. I'm gonna clean it up when I sew. Oh. So what okay. you can do is just sort of get your shape here, yep. and then I'll come right up here as well. And you'll see that what you end up with is basically just a giant rectangle, and you're gonna go in and go face to face and sew around. So okay. Yes. So then you flip it inside out. Actually, yeah. show square, so a square, not a round. <laughs> Once again. Yes. I just want to be accurate. You are you very sure. You are right, whiz, sir. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so take take your um, your fabric, and you're gonna go like this. And this is kind of when you can straighten it all up, right? Look, that's pretty straight. I can clean that up with my sewing machine. That's a little too mm -hmm. too much. Right you gotta there. cut that off. So I'll yeah. go ahead and, and so cut that out. that out. Yep. We'll go even down here. A sewing machine won't go through something like that. No. You know what? Well, that's actually a really great point. So you're gonna need denim. Um, sewing needles if you're gonna go through these kind of crunchier parts. I'm actually They're really because they're thick. That's where they're, they're really yeah. thick. Like yeah. if you look at the difference between that and that, if you had to sew through this part here, even just that on the side, they're really thick because it's mm -hmm. denim is in it in and of itself is thick. And then you're also um, that's like quite layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's folded. Areas. So I'm gonna do this sorry, I'm gonna do this really fast and then I'm just gonna move on to show you how we put the actual um, strap on. Strap. Thank thing. you. But this okay. is pretty easy. It really is. And all we're going to do is go like this down, across, and down. Okay. okay? That's because then you want the rest of it open. You don't really want the rest of it closed. And actually, Debbie, yeah? while I'm doing that, why don't you do this? We're going to make this one into a hip pack. Okay. Which, a fanny pack. So if all we're right. going to do it, we want to attach this 
basically on here. And I'm gonna have you use fabric glue. Okay. This is already you sure nice you want and low. Her to do this? I do want you her to do this. You know what? She's okay. teaching me a She's lot of things. Herself. I love this. So take this off and you're gonna put a line right there. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on while I'm okay. sewing real quick. And we're using the fabric glue because it's too thick here. Yeah, that's one of those areas where if you don't have a uh, maybe an industrial sewing machine or you don't have really good um, denim needles. This is an area where even I, who have denim needles at home, I chose to do fabric glue yeah. because it's just really, really aggressive and you can sure. break a needle and the fabric glue works really well. So now kind of center where you want that little denim tab, this part, yeah, I kind of, kind of visually how you like it and then just place it on and hold it into place. You know, when I would pound nails, I would sometimes hit my finger when I put in a nail. Yeah. Have you ever stitch yourself? I have done it many have times. Have you really? Yep, and my grandmother said you're not really, you're not really a pro at sewing until you've gone right through your fingernails. <laughs> Isn't that the oh, wow. She said it to make me feel better. So now we just flip this inside out. And look at our little pouch. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, Orly. Isn't it so cute? And it's really just that little It's like your pocket stitch. has a pocket. Your pocket has, and your pocket has a front pocket, your pocket has a center pocket, your pocket Why has a, a back pocket. pocket. This is a three pocket purse. Do you know how expensive wait, these are? Wait, wait, this pocket Holy has pockets. a little mini fourth pocket? Oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh. Oh, you're so cute, and I wanna put so, you in my pocket. My goodness, it's so small we could put it in a pocket. And we one more final note is if you wanted to make a lining for it, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, like I did here, this kind of crochet detail. Oh, that's really cool. Or on this one, the red. All that you're gonna do is line up your lining fabric and like you're gonna cut it to about the same size here. Mm -hmm. And remember, we don't flip it inside out because you want the inside to be the clean finished part. Oh, right, so we don't right, flip right, it right. inside out, and then you would just slip it inside here. And you give oh, it a line. And then, yeah, and that way when you fold that over, not only is your top nice and clean finished, but your inside is fully lined if you want that as well. These are so cute. Look at that. So 